Well, this is the kind of match every football fan looks forward to. A lot on the line and the likelihood of a tension-packed occasion. Stay with us. We'll have all the action for you live right here on EA TV. Good evening and welcome to Alcor, welcome to the Al Bayt Stadium, the venue for this one. My name is Derek Ray and sitting alongside me in the commentary position is the former Arsenal and West Ham midfield player Stuart Robson. And both teams looking to get off to a flying start here on match day one for them at the 2022 FIFA World Cup. Stuart, tell us about your pre-match thoughts. Well, thanks Derek, this is such an important game. Both sides will be desperate to start this group well. Let's hope we see some great football today. The starting 11 for Brazil. Alisson gets the nod in goal. Thiago Silva plays alongside Marquinhos in central defence. Casemiro plays alongside Lucas Paqueta in central midfield. And the responsibility of leading the line today goes to Neymar. A look at the opposition starting lineup today. Jan Zommer is the goalkeeper. Nico Elvedi plays alongside Manuel Akanji in central defence. And the idea is to have just the one striker up there trying to pose problems for the opposition. And this confrontation is underway. Just the challenge that was required. Oh, goodness. Not the best of challenges. Now then, what's the referee going to do here? And the referee does send him off. No arguments there. Well, no complaints, really. But they need to reorganise now and quickly. A nice ball over the top. Fred. Here's Alexandro. Well, it could be on for him here. Can they keep it out? And relief as the keeper holds on. Well, he reacts so quickly, doesn't he? That's a great bit of work from him. I would imagine, Stuart, in the pre-match team meeting, the defenders would have been told to keep an eye on Neymar. Well, Derek, he's a great all-round player, but it's his ability to run in behind defenders that makes him such a threat. And when he gets 1v1 against the goalkeeper, he usually scores. And they need to get tighter. Terrific block. Under real pressure defensively, will they pay the price? And thumped away. Paqueta, but it wasn't a taxing save. They have to take it away. And showing fine vision. Not quite what was needed. I really thought they were going to open up the defence.
Alexandro. Vinicius Junior. Lucas Paqueta. Vinicius. Neymar. He's blocked it. And under pressure, that was a fine claim. Well, it's a good Brazil move in the making. Well, no degree of difficulty for the goalkeeper. Remo Freuler. Granit Xhaka. Really important piece of last-ditch defending. Lucas Paqueta. This looks interesting. Real chance. There is the goal to open the scoring. Who can say they don't deserve to be in front? Well, let's look at this again, Derek, because the transition when the ball changes hands is so quick and the finish is just as good. That's an excellent goal. So the ball rolling again with the scoreline standing at 1 0. He read the situation defensively and did his job. He continues his run. Could play it in. Paqueta. Chance to finish. Well, as you can see, they finish this really easily. They don't give the keeper a chance, do they? That's a good goal. Two nil now, and back on the way. Granit Xhaka. Casimiro failed to hang on to it. Useful looking position, you've got to say. Well, he's bound to be disappointed with himself. Not a great effort, Stuart. Well, the less said about that, the better. Not a good decision from him. Well, just one minute of time added on for stoppages here. Alexandro. And so it is, the first half story has been written. Well, we're picking him out for a reason. He's having a tremendous game in attack, Stuart. Well, he's been a joy to watch so far. He's got so much ability, and it was also a very good finish for his goal. He's been excellent. So the ball moving again. The pendulum having already swung Brazil's way. What sort of performance can they produce this half? Moving into the advanced position. Plenty of support here. Splendid defending, and it needed to be.
Paqueta. He takes aim. Simple save, really. Casemiro. And Neymar. Will he find the net? And just putting it over the top. Well, Brazil have bossed the possession, as you can see, and have used it really well today, particularly in the midfield areas. And I expect more of the same as the game goes on. Well, let's see if they can win the ball back. And That really would have changed the equation had it gone in, Stuart. Well, he needed to score there. That may just have given them some hope. Paqueta, nicely timed tackle. Take some progress with the ball at his feet, but they dealt with the threat posed. in the way of that cross <laughs> 20 minutes to go in this one Casemiro lost the ball Shakiri. Now Casemiro, good pressure high up the pitch. He could pick out a teammate. And the referee says corner kick. Both managers deciding this is the time to change things around. Both teams going to the bench. Can he deliver it with accuracy? And really, it had to be further away from the keeper. And below. Can't miss, surely. Oh, a goal to reduce the deficit. My goodness, that gets the pot boiling. It's not over yet. Well, just look at this again. What was he thinking? Too slow, too ponderous, and it's cost them a goal here. Rolling again, 2-1 the scoreline. Well, it was a foul, but good use of advantage by the referee. Neymar. Precise ball movement. Still could be dangerous. Another time for cool heads. Sylvain Widner. 
They get forward, but time is very much against them here. Well, disappointing end to the move. Rafinha. And if you're wondering about added time, two minutes it'll be. A foul, but advantage played. Real chance. Oh, that's a fine save. Well, this might be the final opportunity to draw level. Good refereeing, waiting for a natural pause before booking him. Now they're going to alter things. Here's the substitution. Chance to set up an equaliser from the corner. And full time, Brazil have prevailed. That's the big story here. Stuart, your thoughts on their performance? Well, Derek, it was very competitive. Chances at both ends, but I feel they were the better team and they deserve their victory. Well, we're highlighting him for a reason, Stuart. He's put in a really authoritative performance here. Yeah, he'll be happy coming off the pitch. He worked hard, he was always involved in the game, and he scored a very good goal. That was an impressive performance today.